everyone welcome to my youtube channel i'm super excited to have you watching this video my name is mary i am a practicing lawyer in nigeria and on this channel i share videos for laymen for new weeks for the general public and today i actually want to start a series with a very good um, senior colleague um will be actually this video is actually for um law school students so i actually got a message on that i should come up with videos to actually help people that they are in the Nigerian law school and um, it's been a while because I, I was caught to the Nigerian bar in 2017 and I have not been you know what is really obtainable in practice is not the same as, as what we get to learn at the Nigerian law school so I don't really have much of that um, information or knowledge let me put it that way so I actually have a colleague a senior colleague that has been doing this for a long time he's actually the coordinating facilitator of legal learning academy so he's actually the person that we're putting us through for this um anything um overview all the five um courses so i actually have him here with me his name is um mr olu wale olatsunde thank you so much for coming thank you for doing this with me i really appreciate you sir thank you it's my pleasure being here okay so as i've um, explained earlier that uh, we'll be having an overview of the five courses that have been taught at the nigerian law school and we'll be doing this for us so uh let me just um please just start please thank you sir all right thank you very much um, i must commend that we're doing a good job um all right so um there are five courses offered at the nigerian law school um it includes the two litigation courses that the civil and um, criminal litigation then we also have the practice aspects that is the corporate law practice and the property law practice and then we have the um, course on ethics and skills that is the professional ethics and skills so these are the ethics and skills these are the five courses offered at the nigerian law school and as uh, mary has rightly said we will be taking the overview of these five courses so we will start with civil litigation um, civil litigation is a course um, offered at the Nigerian Law School basically to um, educate and expose aspirants to the bar um, as to the practical and the procedural aspect of um, seeking civil redress in courts and also um, instituting um, civil actions in courts. This stems from the knowledge at the, at the university level when um, studying about civil wrong and, and all of that. So the course civil litigation basically exposes aspirants to the procedural aspect of how civil actions can be instituted in courts and how um, civil wrong and remedies to civil wrong can be obtained. And the course um, by law school by law school outline is divided into about twenty weeks workload and um, is is for is further divided into five modules. And um, the first modules basically uh, relate to how you can institute civil actions and um, commencement of civil actions till judgment and then appeal so the topics under this first module includes introductory matters or overview and then we have uh, court with civil jurisdictions we also have parties to civil actions we have commencement of action in both the magistrate courts and the high court then we have interlocutory applications we have summary judgments we have pleadings then we have pretrial issues and proceedings this borders on things that are meant to be done after instituting actions, pleadings have been filed before you go into trial. Then we have pre-trial, preparation, and evidence and trial. So this relates to all that happened at, at the trial stage, before trial and at the trial stage. Then after then you go into judgments and enforcement of judgment. This relates to the various types of judgment the court can give and how you can enforce the judgment. Then appeals after obtaining judgment and then the other party not satisfied with the judgment you want to appeal how will you go about it and so that is where the first module is held now this the, 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 the second to the fifth module we are in respect of matters that we call so generous they are on their own class because they are basically administered by different laws now it's also important to mention that in respect of the first modules and a bit of the other modules um, by the law school by the law school program is the is the rules of the court that we consider mainly and other legislations and that we law school look at basically the Lagos State's High Court Civil Procedure Rules and then the FCT um, Civil Procedure Rules that's the High Court of the FCT Civil Procedure Rules. Now the, the second module is 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 on election petition. So it's on election processes, election related matters. Then the third module is on matrimonial courses. 
which basically relates to how you can institute actions in respect of matrimonial um, disputes. And uh, the applicable laws include the Matrimonial Causes Act and the Matrimonial Causes um, Rules. And then you have the Fundamental Rights Enforcement. That's, that's the fourth module. This relates to how you can institute action in respect of breach of fundamental human rights and all of that. So that's 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 the fifth module. So these are the major these are the topics that we have in respect of civil litigation at the Nigerian Law School. So thank you so much Tony Wally. Like when it was a spin out of that, I'm just like ah I might back in the in the classroom. Like I just remember when I was at the Nigerian Law School in Kano. So thank you so much sir. I think I did not really introduce him well. I only said he's a coordinating facilitator of um legal learning academy. That is actually basically it. But I want you to understand that that's um Academy. I don't know if you can show us. Okay, I will have a short clip of the academy here. I will have a short clip to this video so that you can actually uh, understand because we organize tutorials for people like you, like um, students of the Nigerian Law School. So thank you so so much, sir. This is just one video on civil litigation. So we'll run an overview on the other four courses and then we'll now deal with one or two topics, right, on each um courses so thank you so much if you enjoyed this video do not forget to share with your um, colleagues make sure you drop the link in any group you belong to that you know that you have people friends that also um watch this video and you also learn one or two things so thank you so much like subscribe and drop a comment in the comment section and i will see you in another video or we will see you in another video <laughs> Bye. hello my name is oluwole olatunde i am a legal practitioner and the founder legal learning mentoring program would like to tell you something please come closer closer do I have your attention now all right legal learning mentoring program is a platform for mentoring training and capacity building for young lawyers law school students and law students the vision is to provide platforms and support system for mentoring young lawyers towards building a successful law practice. The idea is to provide mentoring for legal practitioners at different phases of their practice through guidance, training, and access to information required for building a successful practice. We believe in mentoring the younger generation by bridging the gap between the most successful legal practitioner and the younger ones. I believe that there are lots about the practice of law not learnt within the four corners of the classroom which are required to help younger lawyers build successful practice. Most of these things are better taught practically by those who have navigated the path, built capacity and have over time acquired experience in such area of practice. It is my firm position that mentoring brings about the best in both the mentored and the mentee. The objective of the legal learning mentoring program are one, provide mentoring platforms for legal practitioners across different phases and levels of practice. Two, organize periodic trainings on the emerging area of law practice. Three, help legal practitioners to build capacity to deal with difficulties inherent in the practice of law. And four, to provide platforms for lawyers to network and share knowledge on areas of concern at different phases and levels of practice. And the last but not the least is to address employment and employability issues. Legal Learning Mentorship Program is ready to partner and collaborate with law firms and organizations that believe in our vision in achieving these objectives. We also welcome donations and support from individuals and corporate 